Hey, Libras. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So happy to have you guys here today. Let me get my camera situated. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so what's going on, Libras? I'm happy to have you guys here with me today. Today, today, today. Let's see. I want to see what's going on with my Libras for December 15th through the 31st. Oh, we got to give your relationship a chance, okay? So work on your partnership. Ooh. Oh, so someone is wanting to work on a partnership. Spirit is saying give that relationship a chance. Let's see what's going on. Who's wanting to work on this partnership? Let's see what's good. All right, so this is for Libra, December 15th through the 31st. All right. We have stay optimistic about your love life. All right. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Libras. Ooh, Libras. Mm. <laughs> the first card we have, guys, is reconciliation. So someone from the past is returning. All right. So someone is trying to come back or someone has came back in the past. Presently, we have passion. All right, so allow your allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And for future energy, we have worth waiting for. So divine time is that work in your love life. Go Libra! All right, so before we get too excited, let's see what's let's see what the clarifiers are. Okay, so let's see what's good. What's going on with Libras? December fifteenth through thirty first. We got the seven of cups. So there's a decision that needs to be made. Maybe you're trying to make a stable decision or there's lots of options here. There's lots of options. Maybe there is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Libras, with reconciliation, we have two of swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, just like your guys' energy, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. So you wasn't sure if you were going to reconcile with someone. Okay. Um, I feel like someone definitely was wanting to come back or start fresh. But you was unsure about it. With passion here, we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But these are really like King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. These are very, you know, adultish type energy. Um, King of Pentacles is the is, this person could be stable, own their own business, or you know, very grounded, down to earth. Um, but I feel like they, there's lots of passion here with this Ace of Cups. There's lots and lots of emotions, overflow of emotions here. And with passion, that's a lot of mm, mm, mm going on, okay? Okay? Future energy, we got worth waiting for. So we got that three of cups. So this is celebrating. This is celebrating either. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries, but we have this emperor card here. So this is very like, you know, um, Either could be dealing with the Aries or this is like taking control, having control, um, being in the lead. And then we have the lover's card here, which is the card of Gemini. There could be a Gemini involved. But here with that lover's card, you know, this is something that that is like fun. And and maybe some of you guys are um, going to be celebrating going out to a bar or hanging out with friends and maybe you meet somebody um, at a bar or hanging out with someone, but I definitely feel like divine timing is definitely working in you guys' love life. I feel like there's celebration going on. I feel like you got things on lock. I feel like you are calling the shots here is what I'm getting. I feel like someone is wanting to come back and you're possibly making them prove it, okay? All right, so let's see. What additional messages do we have for Libras? What other messages do we have for Libras? For October, I'm sorry. Did I say October? <laughs> December. December 15th through the 31st. December 15th through the 31st. 
What additional messages do you have for Libras? All right, bottom of the deck, page of pentacles. So this is beginning stages, okay? I feel like someone is definitely wanting to put in the effort. Someone is going to be starting to put in effort. I'm, I'm just sensing that. Or some, either you're doing this or someone is wanting to do this towards you. Something could be going against your morals or something. Um, this is like mother and child too here with this queen of pentacles and this uh with this libra gemini aquarius energy with this knight of swords you could be feeling like you know what i'm not an option okay i'm not sh I i'm not one of your little toys that you're going to be playing with because we got the two of swords here with the seven of cups that's saying like you know i'm not i'm not one of your little flings one of your little options Tell me the truth about this. But I do feel like, I do feel like someone does want to <laughs> offer someone some money or some type of stability with that Knight of Cups energy. This is someone coming in with an offer. Someone is going coming in with an offer. Maybe they're coming in with stability to where they're making you feel like you can hang on to your money or keep your money and, um, ooh. We got a jumper. We got the tower card. There could be a Scorpio involved. But I feel like someone is trying to make an offer. Someone's des desiring to make an offer here. And I feel like going, I'm telling you, going into the near future, we got the magician and the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy here with that ten of cups. So I feel like someone is, I feel like you guys are manifesting something that is going to make you very happy going into the near future. I feel like there is definitely happiness going into this near future. And it could be involving uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also see Leo's energy here, as well as Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, can I'm sorry, not Pisces. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, all of the signs energy is here. So it can be anyone for that fact. And I want to see why this Hierophant card is here because, like I said, this could be a Taurus, but I do feel like this is like, morals here and tradition and how you are used to doing things and i feel like this could possibly be challenging to you and i'm sensing like mother and a child here as well a very happy-go-lucky child of, of um I'm, I'm just sensing that type of energy it's like if you're not gonna do the right thing then you need to go you can't be around me i'm not one of your little toys i'm not one of your options if you can't help me, if you can't, if you're not going to be beneficial to me, then, you know, this isn't going to work. Why is the Hierophant card here? Yeah, we got this Queen of Swords. This is your energy. All right. So this is saying like, and then we got King of Pentacles here, Two of Cups. All right. So I'm sensing like there could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person that is after you or someone that is very business oriented or someone who's like, you know, has their finances or something together here but i feel like the challenge is you're kind of you're kind of like pushing it away why is the seven of wands here i'm sensing like y'all not playing yeah i feel like some of you aren't giving somebody the time of day because you feel like they're playing you feel like they're playing here with this knight of wands energy and you got better things to do and I feel like maybe you were trying to find out the truth about this person. And maybe you're trying to find, I feel like some of you guys are trying to find out the truth. Maybe you're trying to find out of whether this person is well off or is this person stable? Um, is there, are they secure? Would this be a good opportunity? But I'm telling you, I feel like going to the near future, there is, um, some, there's, someone is manifesting here something good. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio. 
looks like I feel like someone is making you smile and making you feel good. Um, making you happy. That's what I get for you guys. Let's do a past, present, future. Please give me a past, present, future for Libras. What messages do you have for Libras? Please give me a past, present, and future. All right, we got the moon card. So Pisces energy, but this could be you um, thinking really deeply or there's something that is hidden here. But let's take a look and see. I'm telling you, Seven of Cups keeps coming up. Okay, past energy, we have this um, definitely thinking about your options, talking about your options, okay? Present energy, we have a give and take, a mutual feel or mutual understanding that you're not interested in a player. You're not interested in playing games. There could be a fire sign involved. But I feel like going into the near future, you're not sure if you want to take this risk. You're not sure if you want to take this risk. I'm really getting Sagittarius energy as well, too. I feel like you're uncertain if you're going to take this risk. There's uncertainty. Like, ah, you know, I don't know. It's like before you leap, you're not, you're not really into just taking, just diving straight into it. I feel like you're tiptoeing your way into it. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Yeah, lots of passion. Someone has lots and lots of passion here. Someone is like wanting to, I'm sensing like lots of passion. I feel like you want to take a risk, but you're still uncertain about it. But I feel like there is some, some hot, someone has some hots for somebody. I feel like you're just tiptoeing. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Look, guys, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, I'll leave that information below in the drop box. All right, so mwah. ciao for now, guys.